I have sat in the Oval Office with both of the men who are running for president. All week, politicians from former President Barack Obama to people from across the United States have told the U.S. and the world that Joe Biden has the experience, empathy and energy to guide the United States out of the COVID crisis and build a better country. Now, it was his turn. I'm a proud Democrat. And I'll be proud to carry the banner of our party into the general election. So it's with great honor and humility I accept this nomination for President of the United States of America. We can get over this season of darkness, he said, but this wasn't just a plea to get rid of President Trump. It was to vote for his ideas and his vision for the next four years. This is a life-changing election. This will determine what America is going to look like for a long, long time. Character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency. Science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. Who we are as a nation, what we stand for, and most importantly, who we want to be, that's all on the ballot. Joe Biden and Democrats have been paying tribute, too, to his new running mate, Kamala Harris, who has already made history by becoming the first woman of color to run for the second highest office in the United States. This remote convention has been different. In the time of COVID in the US, nearly everything is. But Democrats hope that the videos of not just politicians, but real working people from all across the United States and all different ethnicities will help fire up the vote and attract wavering Republicans to the polls in November.